I'm Adam Schindler, your neighborhood reporter in Bell County. If you're like me, then you're tired of the mosquitoes that came with all this rain we've been having. I travel to Waco, speak with the doctor, see if there's anything we need to worry about when it comes to bites. Stephen Gill and his family live in Colleen. How has it been affecting your family? Uh, well, the the outside time, um, usually we have to limit that to, uh, to, to probably about an hour in the afternoon. Uh, because once once the sun goes down and it the shade comes through, it it they they come swarming. You may have noticed that there are a bit more mosquitoes in our area this season, but it's not just the bites that are getting to his son Logan. The mosquitoes sometimes they they sometimes bother me whenever because because sometimes they start buzzing around my ear. I wanted to know if the bites are something we should worry about, so I drove up to Waco to ask a doctor. Do you know what kind of possibly dangerous viruses are in the current mosquito population in our area? Uh, sure, so mosquito-borne viruses in Texas uh, are not uncommon. Severe illness from viruses in Texas is very uncommon. The most common virus in Texas that you can get from a mosquito is West Nile. He tells me that 80% of people who get West Nile have no symptoms. So treating the bites themselves is the main hassle. Mosquito bites itch and they hurt. So using ice, using lotions, calamine lotion, aloe vera. Uh, if it's a significant bite that's got a reaction, then maybe a hydrocortisone cream or some sort of topical steroid. It's best to avoid mosquitoes altogether, which can be hard if you have kids that want to play outside. But Dr. Myers does have some advice. Mosquitoes can breed in uh, uh, a, an amount of standing water that's the size of, a, size of like a teaspoon. They don't need much of it. And so just kind of being on the lookout for areas of water that are kind of pooled and collected. The easiest and most important thing you can do is make sure that there is no standing water, no matter how small, on your property for any extended period of time. If you have been getting bitten and you feel symptoms like chills or a fever, make sure to tell the doctor about the mosquito bites when you see him. In Bell County, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Adam Schindler.